It's not the best of signs when you've got to be on a plane in an hour and a half. Not gonna lie, we're running a little bit late. We were wanting to be at the Brisbane airport at 7 a.m. It's currently 6.45. Mitch is supposed to be picking me up between 6 and 6.30. It's now 6.45. Have a bit of faith in the guy, you know? What else can you do? <laughs> I think we're gonna miss our flight. That's exactly how I feel about this situation too, pups. 906, plane's taken off right now and I've just had a missed call from Mitch. This could be interesting. Fuck me, bro. I've literally fucking slept through my alarm and everything. I don't even know how. Yep. <laughs> what the fuck? <sighs> Fuck, yep, I was, I was waiting for this moment. I've tried so hard to call you. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Fuck! Apparently there's a train you can fucking pay. So, I'm trying to work it out now. A Get train to Bundy? Yep. Fuck, are we better off driving? <laughs> <laughs> Mate, what a fucking... Oh, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to talk about it. All right, it's now 10.30, 10.32, and we've just been given the call that this lockdown is now cancelling the show. We've turned around, we're going back to the Gold Coast. Kind of lucky that you slept in through I your know, alarms. Right? We missed the flights. Mate, I apologise for trying to call you 20 times this morning. I feel like I owe you an apology. <laughs> Thank you, I think. Maybe maybe that's why my alarms didn't yeah. go off. <laughs> we weren't supposed to go, so this uh, it's funny how things work like that sometimes, eh? Ooh. Everyone's going to the bottle over the lockdown. Look at it. The place is packed. Set up your decks at the fucking bottle. It's going off there at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Did you miss me, baby girl? Looks like you and mommy were ready to go out and party, hey? <laughs> I leave and you're both in your PJs. I come back and you are both ready to party. Look at this. What were you planning? Dressed to impress and dressed ready to go spend by the looks of it, hey? <laughs> <laughs> look at you looking at yourself in the screen. You're like, damn, I look good. Here we go. Round two of this Bundaberg trip. Last time we firstly missed our flight because old Bozo here slept in. So this time round, we decided that it's probably best that he stays at my place. Must. I hate these things. They're calling our names, bro. We're the last one. <laughs> now we can't find our gate. That's five and What's six. It said gate. We're at gate two. Oh no. Where's two? I don't get it. Where's two? Thank you. I can't believe we almost missed our flight because you were taking a shit. <laughs> we were this close to missing our flight just then. They said your name wrong. They said just Shami's brother? Did they say Shami's brother? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, mate. I forgot that. I wish there was a lot of people to see that. Oh, hey, mate. G'day, 11 on the right hand side. Thank you. Alright, 
Well, landed in here in Bundy now. We've got Rodney here he's taking care of us. You're going to take care of us, right? Uh, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> We're hoping so, anyway. Anything with alcohol involved, I can't promise. <laughs> Microphone, audio is sorted. Time to get this audio good again. Well, I really hope this makes a difference. Nowhere sells just the cord that I needed, so I had to buy an entire microphone just to get the cord out of it. Now that I've got the audio sorted and we're sounding crisp, now is probably a good time to tell you that this video is sponsored by Squarespace. G'day guys, it's time for an ad. Have you been wondering what to do with your lockdowns and weekends without friends? Well, maybe it's time to get started on that idea you've had for a long time now. You want to know where to start with that? Well, it starts with a website, and good news, Squarespace makes that easier for you. All you've got to do is pick one of their templates, drag in your content, and you can be up and live within hours. <laughs> E-commerce, tick. Subscription website, tick. Portfolios and blogs, tick. Use code Justin at checkout for 10% off, tick. So stop wasting your lockdowns and weekends without friends, and get your site ready today. All right, back to the video. I've just realized, I don't think I've actually explained what we're actually doing in Bundy. So we're only here for one night. Uh, Mitch is DJing up here tonight. That's at like 11 p.m. though. It's currently 12 hours from now, so we've got nothing to do all day, so we're just gonna be running, rumming around. Oh, no. <laughs> the guys here are already serving up the Long Islands for us, so it could get interesting, but. Get a little clean. <laughs> We're here at the Bundy Rum Distillery right now. We're just gonna go have a bit of a cruise around here. All right, here we are. We are in our little apartment right now, getting ready to head out. We're being picked up in a sec again now, back to the club hotel. We're gonna be having some dinner. You'll be getting yourself so he's all, look at this guy, he's getting keen. Let's, actually, we all need to get keen here. What do we got? Vodka soda, vodka soda, and ginger beer. Passion fruit. Nah, passion fruit. I want to try passion fruit. Is that, that's not, is that passion fruit? Ready to go? Yep. Heading back out to the club hotel now. Apparently it's pretty packed in there, so it should be a fucking good night. Let's get this done. Woo! Fuck off. <laughs> How you feeling? I'm fine. Yeah? Just tired. I'm feeling a little bit worse for wear. Actually, I'm not too bad. I just got a headache. And I feel really hungover. But apart from that, I'm not too bad. Oh, happy Father's Day, hey? This is my first Father's Day. You get to spend it with this guy. You gonna take me out to Brecky, mate? Yeah, mate. <laughs> of course, I managed to leave my phone at the venue, so... Firstly, we've got to go to the back to the club hotel. I swear Rodney must think I am the dead set most pathetic dude. I'm usually pretty good with this stuff. I've never lost my phone. As soon as we get off the plane, we send Rodney running around the whole town looking for a cable for this microphone. And now I've lost my phone. He must think I'm so bloody pathetic, but I'm not. I'm, I'm usually, I'm a good dude, you know? I'm a really good guy. This is definitely far from what I expected to be doing on my first ever Father's Day. Hung over, walking Mate, up the streets of Bundy with this guy. <laughs> We're currently walking about a K up the road to, to then car. rent a couple of e-scooters. I'm not sure if you can do it, but I hope we can get two scooters on your one account, because obviously I don't have my phone. Not having a phone is the most annoying thing, annoying thing ever. So we've only got about four hours in town left, and then it will be off to the airport and back home to celebrate my father's day with my baby girl. I was thinking at least I'll get to have a video call this morning, but no, no phone for me. Happy Father's Day, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> 